Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Brambleberry.com and SoapQueen.com. Thanks so much for joining me on today's episode where I'm going to show you how to make perfume. Over the last few years, I've received lots of requests on how to make your own perfume, and today I'm going to show you how to make two types, a solid perfume and a sprayable perfume. The blending is what really sets making your own perfume apart. After all, there's lots of really great standalone fragrances like white tea and ginger, cherry blossom, apricot freesia, but blending is really where you get to insert your style and create something you love. And now it's time to create a custom blend. So my mom is a master gardener and she loves the smell of roses and I'm gonna make her something that I think she would enjoy. In this case, there's three fragrances from Brambleberry.com that I think would go really well together. First, English Rose, because of course it's a classic traditional rose. Second, Tuberose Moss, because it's got that deep, musky base note that'll really help support the middle notes from that English Rose. And finally, something really surprising, gives it a little bit of a clean tinge, is Pink Grapefruit. The reason I chose those three fragrances is because whenever you're designing your own perfume, you want to be thinking about top, middle, and bottom notes. What's a bottom note? Well, a bottom note or a base note is something musky, like a patchouli or sometimes a vanilla that's really going to help anchor your middle and your top notes. A middle note or the heart of your perfume is something that's a really luxurious, lovely fragrance, but isn't really musky and also isn't a really, really light fragrance. Usually your top notes are gonna be your lighter fragrances. So something like a citrus will often be a light top note. Before you make your blend in a large amount, think small. So here I'm just gonna do two drops of the English Rose, two drops of the Tube Rose Moss, and that's again my base note, and two drops of the Pink Grapefruit for my top note. And I'm just gonna smell, smells pretty good. I think mom would like that. When it's time to figure out how much of this to actually blend up for a larger size, since I did two drops, two drops, and two drops, basically you could do, those are all equal amounts. Those are called parts. Now a part is anything you want to make it. It could be an ounce, a teaspoon, or a drop. But keep in mind that with all three of these, we used equal proportions. So if you're going to be using your part as a teaspoon, you're gonna do one teaspoon of English rose, one teaspoon of tuber rose moss, and one teaspoon of pink grapefruit. If you're gonna say your part is an ounce, it's gonna be one ounce English rose, one ounce tuber rose moss, and one ounce pink grapefruit. One last thing though, before you mix up a big batch, I want you to smell this all together. Take a little perfume blotter strip, you can get these at brambleberry.com, or you can use a cotton ball, and just put it in there and then waft it up to your nose. Are you happy with that smell? Because if you're not happy with the smell here, you're not gonna be happy with it in a perfume. And you know how perfume will sometimes change on your body? That's because often those top notes, those fleeting citrus notes, are wafting off. If you're curious how your blend is going to do over time, let this blotter strip or this cotton ball sit for a period of time, half an hour to an hour, and then smell it. If you like the smell then, that means you're going to like the smell on your skin after some time. I know a lot of my Soap Queen TV viewers are essential oil lovers, so I've created a blend using just essential oils. Here I'm gonna do two drops of tangerine essential oil, one drop of patchouli essential oil, and one drop of the tenfold orange. The tenfold orange in this case is such a strong, powerful orange, it actually acts as our middle note rather than that top note where the tangerine is. Blend this all up and then smell it. That is one nice scent. First, we're going to use our all natural essential oil blend and make a solid perfume base. If you don't want to make your own perfume base from scratch, you can always buy the pre-made perfume base from Brambleberry.com. But I'm going to show you how to do your own. Weigh 1.6 ounces of coconut oil, 1.2 ounces of beeswax, 0.7 ounces of meadow foam oil, and 0.5 ounces of avocado oil. Now if you don't have meadow foam oil at home, because I know this is a more unique oil, you could always substitute 0.7 ounces of olive oil. Heat this in the microwave on 30 second bursts. When you get ready to take this out of the microwave, remember it might be a little hot, so keep those pot holders handy. Notice there's a little bit of beeswax still kind of floating in there. Rather than put this back in the microwave, which will heat everything up, I'm just gonna stir those in. Just agitating it really mixes those beeswax chunks in. 
This is about four ounces of total mixture, and I'm gonna add one full ounce of my essential oil blend and mix in well. Pour these into these adorable slidey tins. You could use a regular lip balm round container as well. This fills up about 20 slidey tin containers. These take about five minutes to cool. Once they're hard, just go ahead and cap the tins and you're done. These are ready to use right away. Now I'm gonna show you how to make spray perfume. With this, you wanna make sure that all of your equipment is fully sterilized in a 5% bleach water solution. Into your sterilized container, put 18 milliliters of distilled water. We're using volume measurements here. Then do four milliliters of polysorbate 80. Polysorbate 80 acts as the emulsifier here that helps to mix our distilled water and our essential oils or fragrance oils together. Then 16 milliliters of 91% rubbing alcohol. Don't worry, the rubbing alcohol smell dissipates very quickly on the skin and you won't smell it after just a minute or two. And then finally, two milliliters of your fragrance oil blend. In this case, we're gonna do two milliliters of the rose fragrance oil blend I did earlier. Because there's water in this blend, I wanna make sure it doesn't grow any mold, yeast, or bacteria. I'm gonna be using Optifen as a preservative. Half a milliliter. Once everything's added in, take your mini whisk, stir, stir, stir. Notice it's getting really emulsified. That's that white, milky look, and poof, clear. Isn't that wonderful? You're all done. Fill up your sprayers and Let's try this, shall we? Oop. Hmm. Very rosy. My mom is going to love it. If you're insecure about your blending abilities, you can go the easy route and get one of the Brambleberry Perfume Blending Kits. They come with a little guide that has some suggested blends all ready for you. Thanks so much for joining me on today's episode of Soap Queen TV. Until next time, happy soaping. I know a lot of the Soap Queen TV watchers are all natural people now. <laughs> They're 100% all natural people. <laughs> natural human beings. Yeah. <laughs> Those artificial people. <laughs> Not gummy bears.